It starts with a little love, discipline, and hard work. And you can count on years of happiness and companionship. And from there, the sky's the limit. The best way to build engagement and bond with your dog is just to literally put more structure into the dog's life. On a ranch in Palmdale, California, international trick dog trainer Sarah Carson has created a remarkable bond with her team of super collies who perform and compete all over the world. To these happy hounds, showing off their incredible skills simply feels like play. Every time that you see my dogs on stage or on TV or at a competition, you'll see their tails never stop wagging. You can just tell that they're extremely happy and they love what they're doing. What's so special about Border Collies is their drive to please. They're not quite like pets, they need a job to be happy. By getting to know her dogs individually, Sarah discovered the perfect formula to make their relationship work and to bring out the best in each and every one of them. My strongest bond is definitely with Hero. He will do everything and anything you throw at him. He's a very, very skilled, talented dog. Ben, 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 or Bed, or Bed. Loki Man, he's probably my most enthusiastic dog, I would say. Loki is very good at going fast. Marvel is my only female dog. She is quite the diva. She rocks out some frisbee. She really, really loves it. Thor is really good at anything that's involving, like, being athletic. He really took on to agility. He really liked it. Come on. Up, up, up. Down. Sarah also helps other pet owners replicate this lasting bond with their own dogs. She teaches that spending just five to 10 minutes a day training a pooch and giving it structure can make all the difference. When a working dog, their meals come out of the owner's hand so they know that, hey, if I get food from her, I'm totally gonna listen to her. And then even going to the park and teaching your dog a few tricks um, really helps. Sarah's been mastering these tricks of the trade since she was a girl back in Ontario, Canada. I started training dogs by watching videos, and I had a little Cocker Spaniel, and I just started teaching him, and I realized that I was kind of good at it, and it was fun. And now she spends her days sharing that passion with other people and their dogs. Good, go around. We offer the clients behavior modification, tricks, frisbee, agility, obedience, dock diving. Today, Sarah's working with her client named Tuesday and her six-month-old rescued Australian cattle dog, Rocket. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Tuesday is hoping to one day follow in Sarah's footsteps. Bye. I saw Sarah on TV doing canine freestyle, and I thought that was really cool. And then I wanted to do agility with my dog and eventually teach movie stunts. Tuesday, I feel like she's a little prodigy. Rocket really pushes her buttons. Rocket, let's go. Good. Hi, baby. Um, but she's very patient and loving with him, and I think that together they can have a very special, unique bond and do a lot together. The last few classes, he okay. showed a lot of progress. The bond between handler and canine is a delicate dance made up of respect, love, and obedience. My goal for Rocket today is to do all the obstacles in a clear run, which is doing them perfectly and not have any errors. Go Perfect. Ahead. Good communication. He keeps thinking you're dropping treats. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Tuesday, I'd give him just a little bit more guidance and help him out of the last okay. jump. Yeah. Sounds good. Tuesday did a very good job keeping him focused and driven. Rocket, here, let's go. I'm very proud of both of them. Working with Sarah has been the key to this dynamic duo's success. Over the past two months, our bond has strengthened, and he's become, he loves agility, and he's become much more obedient. Yeah. Good boy. I see him looking more for guidance towards her, and I think that together they're gonna be a phenomenal team. Good, go, go, go. Yes, Woo, good. perfect, good job, Rocket. That was perfect. Rocket's a happier dog, and he knows he's making Tuesday happy. In the last year, she's become so much more focused on what she wants out of life, and she's grown so much. This is just one of the many fruitful bonds that Sarah's helped to create. And with any luck, she won't stop anytime soon. My ultimate goal that I always tell people is that I do this just to make a difference in other people's lives. So it's really cool to see that so many years later that I am still inspiring people to start training their dogs. My dog, our bond has grown and using things like agility and obedience, we have a much stronger connection.